With about 5 million visitors coming to visit the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel each year, it's no wonder the Lee County Visitor and Convention Bureau, or the VCB, reported record-breaking tourist tax collections for the seventh year in a row. Tax collections totaled $39.8 million on paid accommodations for the fiscal year 2016-17. The tourist tax revenue, also known as the bed tax, is a 5% tax that pays for three countywide functions, destination marketing of Lee County, beach and shoreline renourishment projects, and funding for Lee County's world-class spring training facilities. With funding from the tourism tax, local nonprofits that visitors frequent can use the money to promote themselves too. Through the Attractions Marketing Program, which funds about $400,000 a year to about 40 different attractions, they're able to do a better job of marketing themselves outside the area in collaboration with the Visitor and Convention Bureau. The Gulf Beaches are Lee County's most attractive feature and are considered to be its number one economic asset. Lee County's 50 miles of beaches are the recipient of tourism tax revenue with beach renourishment projects, dune walkovers, public boardwalks, and public restrooms. Tourism is so important in Lee County and Southwest Florida. One out of every five jobs in Lee County is funded by tourism. That continues to bring jobs to the market to Lee County, which helps our local families. That also, in turn, keeps our taxes low here in county, Lee County for the regular full-time residents. Residents see the benefits to filling hotel rooms with visitors with two Major League Baseball spring training facilities with little cost to local taxpayers. When the ballparks are not in use by the Boston Red Sox or the Minnesota Twins, the Lee County Sports Development Department is working to put sports events on the calendars, and Lee County's Parks and Recreation Department is responsible for maintaining the ball fields. For the other 300 days of the year, there are 62 amateur baseball tournaments that fill up about 100,000 hotel rooms in the county. Between the participants, the coaches, their families, and fans, they also ring the cash registers at local restaurants, shops, and other businesses. In January, synchronized skating championships brought in about 8,000 competitors and spectators, generating about 7,000 hotel room nights. And how does Lee County Sports Development attract out-of-area competitors like the skaters or Team Sweden or the Canadian national team that are headed to the Olympics in 2020? We do a lot of trade shows and then we know of events and if it, we think it fits our community then we go to that event we try to talk the event promoter into taking uh, a look at Lee County. With about 12,000 hotel rooms to fill each night in Lee County, there are a lot of options for visitors. As residents, tourists pay for what we get to enjoy and enhance our quality of life. For more information, log on to leegov.com.